Yo, what is going on, boys? It's crazy. It's a crazy, crazy day today because we got Duel revamped, completely renewed. The top 32 gods are banned. Um, in my opinion, a little bit too much. Like I said, if you do, if you don't know my opinions about this patch, uh, go back to my and watch it in my oh god, in my other video. Um, but why is it so fucky? It's not even straight, dude. right now um if you want my opinion about how they did this it is in my other video uh i i yesterday's video where i basically talked about what i told them to do and then what they actually did they asked me what should happen with duel i basically told them exactly how to fix duel they didn't listen to me they stole my idea and they made it this now i will say I think it's good regardless. The top 32 gods needed to be banned because we just need more variety. Like, I couldn't boot up a normal ass day of Smite and be like, oh, I'm gonna slam a fucking Terra in duel today, you know? But with the top 32 gods banned that are just gonna instantly win, like, there's still, there's still like good gods, right? There's still meta gods you could pick, or meta, you know? Like, Rom is still very good. Hell is very good. Heimdall, insanely good. Ishtar, not bad at all. Um, you know, there's freaking Charon, in my opinion, super broken. You know, there's a lot of good gods. Ymir's still in here. Vulcan's still in here. Um, Fenrir's still in here. You know, like, there's still so many good gods. <coughs> By the way, don't pay too much attention to my bands. I just clicked on random gods. Um, But I just wanted to start the video and talk about it because it's insane. Like... With all of these super meta gods banned, you have the option to legitimately boot up Smite and play anything you want again. Anything you want, and it's it's like decent, you know? Like, yeah, you're going to get slightly outclassed, but in, instead of, you know, S plus versus S plus every single game of your life, for, for me, the past 25,000 matches and 10 years of my life, now you're getting a tier versus b tier b tier versus c tier b tier versus b tier f tier versus d tier you know like you're getting so many cool matchups that you would never get because people have to adapt and they have to learn these new gods thanks gamer um and i think there's so much there's so much like fun to be had when you can bring back an aspect of the game that's unknown to you, like learning a new god or learning a new matchup, um, that's when the game is fun. In my opinion, like, I, I I know people have a lot of different, you know, ways to have fun on every game. But on Smite, for me personally, I have the most fun when I'm actively using my brain. You know, like, where I have to think, how do I win this matchup? How could I possibly make this a better situation for me in my current scenario you know i'm i'm not a happy i'm not a happy camper you know so like how could i how could i change this to become a happy camper in my scenario and that kind of thought process is what helps me have fun in the game keeps me motivated to play it and with all those meta gods banned that motivation won't stray i think because i'm going to be always learning now again this kind of does depend on if uh if or ha not if sorry how often they change it i told them i think it should change every patch so every month basically like every big patch every month i think it should change if they listen to me, I think we are in a great spot. Uh, but historically, they don't give a fuck about what I say. They just take my idea and roll with it. Which isn't terrible. You know, that's still they still took my idea and they're still going with it. But, um, you know, uh, 
I, I just know that this is kind of a delicate situation. You have to keep a close eye on it, and I don't know if they're willing to do that. And, um, you know, <laughs> I, I will try my best to make sure things are maintained. But like I said, I get a response once every two months. So we'll see what happens. But regardless, I am happy with this. You know, like I'm fighting a Fenrir as Thanatos. Um, I never played Thanatos because he's j he just loses to all the S tier gods. Um, unless you're like crazy good with him specifically, like like Rexy is. Ouch. Oh, he's maxing his. Yeah, he's maxing his three. That makes a whole lot of sense because I can't stop it. I mean, I can stop it, but I have the charge up of the three, so it's not like I can stop it quick. When he sees me cast three, he has enough time to literally cancel his three and jump in the air. So. Not in a, not in a fantastic matchup for me, but it's better than fighting an Oleron. Uh, now I do actually have to think, how do I win this matchup? You know, like what can I do to better my chances of winning this? He's obviously maxing the three. Um, I need to adjust my play style to avoid the three basically at all costs and somehow survive. He's, he's going to go for the, the red buff. Wow, that was quick. That was quick. Um, why did I, why did I do that? Oh, and I just used my, I just used my three on the wave. I'm actually just dead. Yeah, I'm just dead. I am just a ceased. It doesn't help that I literally haven't played the game in 16 decades. Um, I don't think I can kill him here. He's really high level. Um, I don't know. Actually, maybe I can. Ah, uh, never mind. He's healing. He's out there healing. Um. I'll take one. I'll take one and count it as a win. All right, let's just auto attack these down. So I have my three if I need it. I do have my breastplate available. So that's cooldown I need. Thank you. I'm only down 600 gold, which doesn't feel the worst in the world, considering I'm down two kills. All right, that's a massive power spike from him. Um, although I will say, the later this game goes, the happier I personally am. Um, the happier I am because his his three, the base damage on his three, won't affect me as much anymore. Like right now, his three is doing so much damage and obviously his auto attacks as well. Can't forget about those bad boys. Um, it's doing so much that I actually just don't have a chance. But. Uh, fine by me, actually. I don't know why he would do that.
I'm actually very curious as to why he would do that. Nice. Nice. Him invading my blue actually gave me both buffs. Oh, I wish that hit. I wonder if you got your treasure chest. You didn't. I will take that. Thank you. I'm going to ult this because I don't want to lose my tower. If I don't ult this, I don't get there in time to save my tower, probably. Oh, nice. I'm definitely making a comeback now, baby. Okay. Alt for blink. I will take that. That means I'm alive. That means I am alive and I have full transcendence now, bitches. Let's go. Look at that damage. Look at that damage actually less impressive than I thought it was. Oh, I thought that would hit. Okay. Stop. Oh, no. That cannot be good, boys. Oh, never mind. It's amazing, boys. It's amazing. Let's actually go. Let's actually go. What an insane turn of events. Oops, I missed. Dude, we just got... This is what... Dude, this is what I'm talking about, man. Like, this is why this is so good for duel. This is such a good aspect of duel now. Because I had literally... Like, actually literally... No shot at winning this matchup before. I, I like... You could put a gun to my head and say win this matchup and I literally couldn't before because I would fight or like like win as Thanatos because I would fight some S tier god. I'd fight like, you know, Honor, AMC, Kali, Mom and Forget, uh, fucking, you know, all these crazy gods that I would just straight up not have a chance against that I can now pick Thanatos and maybe win. It's crazy. I'm so happy with it. Oh, God. I really want that red buff. Got to. Got to. I just ghost hit that. Oh, nice. My three clears. Red buff fully finished serrated a thousand gold away that's not bad once i get serrated online we are looking great and uh obviously i went beat stick because i'm fighting a fenrir like his two is going to be insane if i don't buy oh hello oh, oh. Dude, I'm telling you, all you have to do when you alt with Thanatos is wait for them to mess up. It works like 9 out of 10 times. Which is pretty good. 90%. You literally just wait for them to use an ability. Like, you wait for them to use their movement ability and then they can't do anything after that. He does have blink though. He could have, he could have jumped and then blinked immediately after, which would have been a good play, but you know. Then I get alt for blink and I'll, I'll, that's fine. Like that's an acceptable trade. Obviously I want the kill, but you don't always get what you want. You know, hello. I've missed. Now here's an issue. He's got alt. And he wants probably to drag me into that Phoenix of his. Ooh. 
Cool. Alright. Dude, isn't it insane, the turn? Isn't it, like, incredible the difference that a new god can make? Like, not a new god, I'm sorry, a new meta. Like, I, I don't know if I've fought this matchup more than two or three times in my entire life. Danatos versus Fenrir. Hello. You're doing enough damage to hurt me. I think I'm dead. Fuck. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Nice. Can I get the Phoenix? I do have a lot of damage. I don't have very much attack speed. My damage is there. Let's go. Red buff spawning. Let's go grab that. He doesn't have any anti-heal, which I feel like is a big misplay. Because I heal when I get last hits, and I have lifesteal. And my scythe heals me a ton. I feel like not going anti-heal against Thanatos is, is kind of a misplay. Yo, can I just be honest though? I'm so happy. Like, I can't play Smite for that long most of the time. But, like, because I feel sick when I play it sometimes. But, it's so nice. It's so, it's such a nice feeling that I can log on to record... And no, for a 100% certain fact, I will not fight an Uller. I will not fight a Mom and Brigette. I will not fight a Kali. Like, it's just so nice, man. And I bet you guys feel really good about it, too. Because, like, most people lose the game because they freaking... Holy shit, that was insane. Come, 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 Holy fuck, erroneous. Would I do so much damage? All right, well, GG. But it's such a nice feeling. Like, people are going to actually play duel again. Because... And you know, you know what's something cool about this? You know something cool about this change as well that I'm going to talk about? By the way, the video is not going to end um, right now. Because I do want to talk more about my thoughts on this patch. And the impact it has. But what's so cool about this is I have so many messages. Like, let me um let me open up YouTube real quick. I have so many comments on yesterday's video. YouTube Studio. Content. 200 comments on yesterday's video. Um, and like 95% of them are positive, which first off, thank you. I really appreciate that. But on top of that, not only are 95% of them positive, I guess I can switch to the screen. But they're also like, um, they're like saying that they haven't played duel in years. They just watch me play. And this change is actually going to let them play duel, which is so good because not only are we fixing the issue of like non-skilled players getting GM because they abuse broken gods and ruining the fun for other people, we're also fixing matchmaking. Like, you guys understand that, right? The more players, the better matchmaking. That's just simple. It's simple math. I mean, if more people are 2,500, when you're 3,000, you're going to get more people that are 2,500 opponents rather than 900 MMR opponents, you know? So, like, it's a big issue right now in Smite in general that um, matches aren't fair in terms of MMR because there's not enough player base. In, in duel and in joust specifically it's a little bit better in conquest even though it's still a little fucky um but conquest like it takes the five players on each team averages the mmr and it's normally around like 10 mmr so it's pretty good um even though your thought that went zero and 14 in mid lane makes you not feel like that it is generally pretty good um but in duel when it's one-on-one -on -one, and 90% of the people don't want to queue duel because they know they're going to fight a fucking Uller or a Kali. 
uh, you know, now that those people are going to be queuing duel, I'm not going to be fighting as many 900 and 1500 MMR players. I'm going to be fighting way more like 2,500, 3,000 MMR players because, you know, they've adapted to this new meta where they don't have to play all the most broken shit. And, and by the way, I want to also address this. There's a few comments I read yesterday where they were like, um, well, Sam, this is going to be really cool for like a week and then a new meta is going to appear. I understand that. But what you what I, what I want you to know is that it, you said the reason this is happening. A new meta. It doesn't matter if a meta appears. It matters that it's different than what we had for the past 10 years. And it has to be because there's not the same amount of God or there's not the same amount of like good gods that you can play. So even though there's the same broken items and there's like, like every single melee character is going to build fucking serrated and every single mage is going to build poly, right? But at least that poly is going to be on a Thoth instead of a like Poseidon, you know, <laughs> like it's, it's just so much more fun to play around with better matchmaking and no super OP gods. And I think, you know, based on the comments yesterday, like I said, there's 200 of them, which is insane. But um, based on the comments yesterday, there's going to be at least hundreds more dual players, which is great because there's 15 right now. Uh, so matchmaking is going to get better. S tier gods aren't going to ruin your life anymore. So you get to have fun playing Zing Tin if you want to. And um, that's that's all I have to say. Leave a comment if you think that I'm out of my fucking mind. And, uh, or if you agree with me, you know, I'll read both. Cause they do want to know your opinions about it. Uh, and I also, I want to see how this plays out. I think it'll be fantastic, but maybe the, maybe it's the hope in my eyes that will die soon. Maybe it'll be terrible. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Thank you for watching though. I appreciate you. Um, liking, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and until next time guys, peace.